Okay, so here we have the focaccia. Very simple dough. Uh, you can use any old recipe for this, a standard Italian or French recipe. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hand form this like you would a pizza, only we're not gonna top it with stuff. We're gonna brush a little olive oil, again, olive oil, salt and pepper, a little bit of minced garlic on it, and that's gonna be the thing we dip into all the stuff here, because we're gonna have all these beautiful little pan sauces. What's a pan sauce? Pan sauce is, after you cook something, the residue that's on the pan, you get the flavor out of the pan via some liquid, and then you have a pan sauce. So we're gonna shape this one, okay? I'm gonna sprinkle a little flour on it. That's all there is to it. And then we're gonna take a peel, which is the paddle that one uses in the brick oven. Now, a peel, my guess is, is that they called it that because it peels the product off the deck of the oven. Because traditionally, when people started using ovens of some type, they were using these and cooking the product just as we are today, right on the deck. So we have the peel, we have the dough. We take a little bit of cornmeal, which is the ball bearings which slide it off. So when you get your Italian bread and you look on the bottom, you say, what's this cornmeal doing on here? It's not there for flavor particularly, it's so, it slides. We're gonna squirt it with a little of the extra virgin olive oil. We've done this part before, haven't we? We're gonna brush it around randomly. All these dishes are a bit crude. They're not really refined dishes. They're really gutsy kind of, big chunk kind of peasant kind of dishes, okay? And we practiced this before, and in the oven it goes. And there it is. So what we have here is oyster mushrooms. As we said before, they neither look like oysters, but they are in fact mushrooms. They don't taste like oysters. They don't have a texture similar to oysters. Maybe somebody can uh, send me a note to let me know what that is. So we're gonna do the requisite oiling here. And the usual salt and pepper. Now this one here, these are gonna fry in the oven. So this is a procedure that's like slash, uh, frying, roasting, uh, sauteing, and it happens in this oven because we have several different processes happening here in this oven. One is, it's functioning like a conventional pizza oven, which means the deck of the thing, the stones, are hot. Then you also have uh, a broiler function with a live fire. Then you also have convection, because air is moving in on the bottom, being exited through the top. So you really have like a three-in-one kind of appliance here. So that's why we can do so many things here and that are very difficult to do at home, except for those of you that have one of these. And if you do, your private chef's making you dinner. What we're doing here is we're pushing the coals back to give us more room in the oven. I believe we need to take out the bread. Dripping with fat and a little burnt. Tasty. Okay, we're gonna take some of these coals, bring them right out here. And then, the trusty tongs, the steak. Notice the smoking. A little bit of oil there. And now that we have it going, a little squirt of oil in there. These are the things you don't do at home. What we're doing is just roasting that steak right there like you were a caveman, just ripped it off the beast, and you're ready to chow. That's what we got here. Our pepper's done. We're going to grab our gorgonzola. Oh, look at that, look. And there we are, the gorgonzola, a bubbling bevy of beautiful cheeses. We have our mushroom here, our oyster mushroom. See, it's all brown nicely, a little charred on the edges. It's burning my hands, I gotta put this down soon. What we're gonna do is pour a little stock in there. Sizzling's good, everybody hear that sizzling? There it is. And this dish now will rehydrate that mushroom to be nice and beautifully smooth. Let's see what else we got going on in here because you can't exactly see it all. Here's our vegetables, we'll put those back in. Ooh, look at our tomatoes, <laughs> sorry. And then what we'll do is we'll put a little bit of uh, fresh herbs in it. Some minced parsley with oregano. Okay. A pinch of minced garlic. And we're gonna swirl that around. 